Hey YouTube, this is my fourth portfolio presentation covering chapters 11 and 12 and it is also my last because school year is drawing to a close and I'll never have to take geometry again which sucks because geometry is way cooler than algebra 2. And what better way to kick off the final portfolio than to start with chapter 11, area of polygons and circles. My strengths to this chapter was geometric probability. Probability alone is just a number from 0 to 2 that represents the chance an event will occur. Now, geometric probability is slightly more in-depth, but just as easy. So the probability that point K is on line CD equals line CD divided by line AB, if given the line AB with CD marked on it. And the second one is the probability of point K being in region M would be the area of M divided by the area of J if given both those areas. Here's an example I've worked out. The buses come every 15 minutes and the ride to work is 31 minutes. You arrive at the bus stop at 8.24 a.m. What is the probability that you'll be at work by 9 o'clock a.m.? Step 1. Find the maximum amount of time you can afford to wait. So if you take 9 o'clock and subtract 31 minutes, it'll be 8.29 a.m. And you take 8.29 a.m. and subtract 8.24 to get 5 minutes. Now step 2. Use the probability of arriving on time and make it equal to the favorable waiting time versus the maximum waiting time, which follows in the number line here. So if you work that out, it's 5 minutes divided by 15 minutes which would be one-third or a 33 percent chance that you will arrive by 9 o'clock. Continuing with chapter 11, my weaknesses are finding arc lengths. Arc length is a portion of the circumference of a circle. The arc length corollary is in a circle the ratio of the length of a given arc to the circumference is equal to the ratio of the arc to 360. And there's the equation. The arc length of arc AB, which you can let be x, over 2 pi r equals the measurement of arc AB divided by 360 degrees. Here's an example. Find PM, short for Pac-Man's, uh, arc length. So x over 2 pi 16 equals 60 degrees over 360, or 1 sixth for short. So now you set that equal to x over 32 pi, and x is approximately 16.75 inches. So that's the length of Pac-Man's arc. Moving right along into chapter 12, surface area and volume. My strengths in this chapter are identifying polyhedrons, counting their vertices, edges, faces, and telling whether they are concave or convex and regular or not. Here are some examples. Example 1 is a cube. It is regular and it is convex. It also has 6 faces, 8 vertices, and 12 edges. Example 2 is not even a polyhedron and therefore you cannot count the faces, vertices, or edges. Example 3 is a polyhedron and it's also concave and irregular and it has 10 faces, 16 vertices, and 26 edges. To finish off with chapter 12, here are my weaknesses and they are similar solids and scale factors. Similar solids have equal ratios of corresponding linear measures like heights and radii. Here is the similar solids theorem. For two similar solids, their scale factors are the surface areas, which would be a squared is to b squared, and the volumes, which would be a cubed is to b cubed. Here are some examples. The first two are not similar. You can tell it's just by looking at the picture, but sometimes pictures aren't accurate, so you have to watch out for this. But if you did do it out, you would find out that if you did it for the surface areas, it would not work. For example two, Yes, because if you do out the surface areas, you get 20 squared is to 25 squared, and 30 cubed is to 22.5 cubed, which if you simplify, equal each other in their ratios of 4 to 1 and 8 to 1. Thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.